everybody. One of the things that I'm sad about not being in my classroom for is clay. I love teaching students how to use clay. And so I decided to bring back a really old recipe, one that my mom used with me when I was really little to make decorations for our house. Because we can't make sculptures with real clay, because the kiln at 13th Street is all locked up and we can't be in the classroom together, we're gonna learn how to make salt dough today. It's a dough, not a clay, because it's not something that we dug out of a riverbed. It's something that we're gonna be making with things in our kitchen. Very simple ingredients. Water, cold water, salts, and just regular all-purpose flour. That's all you need. You'll need a bowl to mix it in, and a spoon, and a little bit of time. The ingredients, as you mix them up together, they're gonna need a little bit of time to rest to make the dough the best quality it can be. And it's also gonna take a little bit of time to bake it in the oven. Just like with real clay from nature, we need to make it permanent by adding heat and drying it out over a length of time. So that part is definitely a part you'll need your adult in your life to help you with. It's gonna take two hours around about, depending on your oven, to make your salt dough sculpture permanent. All right, let's get started. First, I'm going to measure one cup of salt. Move this over here. Any old salt will do. One cup of salt is a lot of salt. So if your parents have really nice salt at home, don't use that. Okay, so that's about one cup and I'm gonna level it out really carefully. All right, dump it in. And now, two cups of flour. Flour likes to compact, so I'm adding a little bit more to the top and smoothing it out. That's about one cup. And, all right. Now for the next part, we're gonna mix in a little bit at a time our cold water. So we had one cup salt, two cups flour, and one cup water. So all of those ingredients, you could scale them up to make a lot of salt dough, or you could scale them down. You could do a half cup salt, one cup flour, and a half cup of water. It's up to you, and you might not end up using all of the water. All right, let's start mixing. That is hard work. You might want to take turns with your mom or your dad or your aunt or your uncle or your cousin or your dog because it's getting harder and harder to stir. But I think we're almost to the point where we can let it rest for about 20 minutes. And that'll help all of the particles of salt and clay get hydrated, so full of that water we just added. I ended up using all of the water. You might decide that you need a little bit more water, but you don't want it to be runny in any way. You want it to be sticky and like clay, like this. It's very goopy. If you wanted to mix it with your hands towards the end, you can see it doesn't even stick to you very much. It's pretty great. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for 20 minutes and then we'll come back and check it out. Ooh, it's fun. <laughs> All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Now when I stir it up, it sort of sticks together like a dough. And I can take little bits of it and start sculpting. It's not gonna work like the clay that I'm used to using or even like Model Magic or Play-Doh. It's gonna be a little bit goopier. So I have a little bit of water on hand and I have a rag if my fingers get too goopy. And it's going to take a little bit of planning about gravity. 
When I make a sphere, for example, and I just sit it on the table, it's gonna flatten out a little bit. That's okay, but I might wanna add a little bit more flour to make it more stable. Or I can make all the individual parts for my project. Let's say I'm gonna make a bear and I need a sphere-like shape for the head and a sphere-like shape for the body. I might decide to, to make the parts that are going to go up in my sculpture after they've been baked. So I'm gonna make the parts that are gonna be flat on the table, like the bottom of the bear and the bear's legs, and the bear's body, but the head I'm gonna keep separate until after it's been baked and then I can glue them together because my salt dough is a little bit sticky and tacky. Boop. If you wanted to make a self-portrait, you could just do your head and maybe do half your head like this and shape it flat on the table, make some indents for some eyes, pinch out a little nose, make a little smile. Oh, it looks so scary! <laughs> and add more details as you move along. Be creative, experiment a little bit. Remember art has so much science in it, so you might wanna experiment to see what the best consistency of salt dough is for you. After I'm done making it, I'm going to put it on a cooking sheet and bake it in the oven at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours until it's all dried out and hard to the touch. But we of course need it to cool down. So two hours is a good estimation. All right, can't wait to see how you experiment with your salt dough. Get creating, get fancy, and maybe, you know, clean up after yourself.